Ah, uh, we've got some bad news and good news. It's been a very busy week for cruise news updates. We've put together all the news from all of the world's biggest cruise lines, so stick with us for more. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. We're cruisers, Ben and David. Welcome to this week's cruise news update. So first up, news from Royal Caribbean. They've cancelled all cruises up until the 15th of September. So this is another knockback. This is along with all other Cruise Line International Association members. It's a voluntary move and most other big cruise lines are doing it as well. It's going to give them additional time to also allow them to consult more with the CDC before they start cruising. Obviously, other Royal Caribbean brands include Celebrity and Azamara. They've both been cancelled up until at least the 15th of September. Next up for Carnival, in an unexpected move, they have cancelled cruises for an additional two weeks beyond the clear no sail date till at least October. CEO Arnold Donald said, I wish I could give you a date, he said but we can't. Yeah, so that's quite sad, isn't it? So again, Carnival pushing back again. They were so enthusiastic about the 1st of yeah. August start, but obviously that didn't happen. And it's been pushed back a few times since then. It's never ending. Yeah, and giving themselves an additional two weeks beyond what other clear members are saying Which is as well. surprising, yeah. In other Carnival news, a couple from the Carnival Breeze who were crew members being repatriated home had an unexpected event on the flight home. Midway from London to Manila on the Emirates flight, a call came out asking for medical help. Both crew members were nurses and helped give birth to a baby boy of one of the passengers on board. The baby has been called Sky and is doing really well. So a little bit of good news there in the yeah, cruise industry. So, so cute. Sweet. So well done to those two crew members. Next with MSC, it's another one of the lines now cancelled up till September the 15th. But there's been a few announcements of some of the ships that are going to be sailing from the United States. So the MSC Armonia and MSC Meraviglia, one of our favourites, will be sailing from Miami. You'll also find the MSC Seaside will start cruising from Port Canaveral. But the MSC Divina will replace the MSC Seaside in March 2021. They're coming up with a new comprehensive and enhanced health and safety protocols, as all other cruise lines are doing. And this is going to cover everything from the booking phase all the way up till disembarkation. So making sure everybody's nice and safe. Next up, news from Princess Cruises. A director at a creative agency who produced marketing campaigns for Princess Cruises has allegedly been fired. The associate creative director objected to creating adverts telling passengers that it was safe to travel on cruise ships at the end of June. This conflicted with the no sale order set out by the CDC at the time. The director said the campaign was materially false, misleading and dangerous, instructing consumers to put their lives at risk. When she raised concerns, they were allegedly berated, threatened and then fired, the lawsuit has said. Yeah, that's really awful to hear. Uh, yeah. Obviously, not Princess that's fired them. It's, it's the creative, creative agency, agency that was working with Princess. And obviously, she was right as well. So other cruise lines cancelling up until the 15th of September include Norwegian Cruise Line, Disney, Holland America, Cunard, and p &O. As we said earlier, this is a voluntary move by all of the clear members. So this sounds like it's cruise lines taking it out of the CDC's hands, putting the ball in their court because it just sounds like we're not getting clear guidance from the CDC at the moment. Yes, yeah, so this brings us on from news from the CDC. Have the CDC mistreated the cruise industry? That's what analysts from a Japanese investment and brokerage firm are accusing. Interesting news. It really is a scathing report, saying they have been unjust by placing ridiculous roadblocks up, preventing cruise lines from sailing again. And they place the current standstill on cruise down to the CDC for being unwilling to discuss plans and being slow in its actions. The report states, and we quote, major cruise operators have established a panel of leading virologists and health policy experts, which has for many weeks submitted suggestions for new protocols with limited interest by the CDC in a two-sided discussion about resuming sailing. The report also says, the messaging seems to be, don't even think about resuming operations, even if most businesses are reopening. Resorts and casinos, 
Hotels are welcoming guests, airlines are taking off with many flights near capacity, as well as big theme parks around the US, US opening, with not even a peep of objection from the CDC. Wow, this is really a scathing report, and to be honest, we completely agree. We've been following the news and bringing it to you from the beginning, and oh my gosh, have they been absolutely useless in every regard. Slow to react, being very vague about things, fighting with cruise lines openly throughout the media. It's been an absolute mess. They are really slowing things down, whilst the cruise lines obviously lose, losing millions of dollars every week want to get their businesses up and running again. Yeah, I said this before. It does sound like they are putting the blame onto cruise and cruise has been used as a scapegoat. We've already seen theme parks are opening. As you even said, flights are at near capacity, which is surely just as uh, dangerous as cruise, if not more, I guess. Yeah, and if you're unaware, cruise lines are the only industry that actually reports sickness to the CDC. Nobody else does, no resorts, casinos, anything like that, theme parks, it's just crew, so they've taken the brunt of it, even though that it has been spreading everywhere else as well. So next up in other news, Nassau in the Bahamas said they expect cruise passengers to be kept on a short leash, uh, not to be able to independently walk off on their own while they're visiting the country. Nassau Cruise Port's chief executive, Michael Mora, said there ain't no way around it. It's going to be very, very difficult. I don't think anyone downtown is going to see any cruise passengers. That's a bit of a shame as well. And they were one of the countries that were going to open soonest as well. Yeah, so I'm guessing they're thinking they're not going to see passengers physically getting off the ships and enjoying the town. It's going to be maybe limited to people just doing group activities. Yeah, it's, it's a bit worrying. So maybe booked tours on board the ship. Yeah. Virgin Voyages plans to use rapid testing kits as part of the Voyage Well plan. We brought all the information to you as it was breaking last week. This will allow quick and efficient testing, especially at embarkation to rule COVID out. So not letting anybody on board that has symptoms of COVID. And COVID has claimed its first cruise line Unfortunately, this week Pullman Tour Cruises has filed for reorganisation under Spanish insolvency laws. The uh, cruise line caters mainly for Spanish-speaking guests and is 49% owned by Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean said that passengers booked on effective sailings would be offered the option to sail on ships operated by other Royal Caribbean brands. So that's really sad news there that the first cruise line we're gonna see it disappear because of this pandemic. And finally, we'll leave you with some good news. A few cruise lines are actually up and running and cruising right now. At the moment, this is all in Europe, and it includes ocean cruise liner Hurty Gurton. <laughs> Such a cool name. As well as some river cruise lines, including Arosa Cruises. And France now has just given the green light for river cruising to start again. So it's really fantastic to see cruisers actually cruising. And to all of those naysayers who were attacking us saying cruising would never start again or wouldn't be up and running till at least the end of next year, well, you were wrong. It's <laughs> up and running and we're so pleased it is, aren't we? Yeah, it does feel like there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. And it's exciting. It's in our neck of the woods. It is, yeah. And we've been looking online as well. Some other good news. There's loads of good deals, especially from Royal Caribbean, MSC and Virgin Voyages that we've seen. So go check them out because we expect these prices to rise as soon as cruising starts again. Yeah. So you can get some really good deals. Yeah, we've heard from a few of the cruise lines saying that you're going to see the best prices now. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. But that's what the cruise lines yeah, are saying. Yeah, even Royal Caribbean themselves have said that they've got some of the cheapest cruise prices they have in years. Yeah. And we agree. We've looked at some in Europe, some transatlantic, some Caribbean. Cheapest chips. Yeah, maybe that's just a way of you getting people to entice to book now. Well, Who it's knows? It's enticing me. But yeah, it's definitely enticing us. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. We're bringing you all of the latest cruise news, totally accurate, up to date, and in lovely packages like this. And we've got so many great videos coming along once cruising starts up again. So we'd super appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified when we upload. We've also got brand new designs in our Teespring store for t-shirts, which you can see here is one of them. Ta-da! Nice colorful one there. If you wanted to get yourself one of the t-shirts, just click the link in the description below. Some of them are actually shown under this video. They ship from the US and Europe. And thank you so much to our patrons. The captain of the week is Michael. Ahoy, Ahoy Michael. Find out more about becoming a patron in the description section below. I guess that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.